like the Bible party is going to be going to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Kavadash, double eyes of two apostles, the elders of the GMS, who will teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutation, and hope that God that will push in his word and truth, and it's a series of across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here, Shah, want you to hope that the believers and listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, all right, with the brothers of GMS, Mississippi County. Alright, we're going to go into a lesson, you know, dealing with suffering for what we desire, okay? The one thing about this ministry is, you know, when we first came in, you know, um, pretty much, we started to develop a desire, you know, for the kingdom, you know, understanding what the kingdom is and understanding, you know, coming into understanding what rulership is, okay, being more mature when it comes to righteousness, okay, we start to desire, you know, the kingdom, you know, more and more, okay? But as we desire more and more, we have to understand that the suffering that we must go through, you know, for us to get to that desire. You see, in Yahweh Bashim Shah is all about a perfect balance. Matter of fact, let's get that in um, Proverbs 11 and 1. You know, let's get that real quick. You know? <clears throat> this is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. A false balance is an abomination to the most high. See, the Heavenly Father is all about balance, you know, and like I say, the suffering that we're going to go through is going to be balanced out by the desires that we want at the end of the suffering, you see, so the Most High is putting, putting it in our spirit to desire, okay, the things that we want, you know, some brothers desire more things up more than others, you know, as men we desire power, okay, in the earth, we desire liberty, you know, to be righteous in the earth. We desire abundance of resources, you know. We desire family, okay. You know, brothers, you know, want to be in a position to bring forth seed, you know, throughout the earth, okay. They, they, these are the things that we desire, okay. The woman being back in order, like whatever you desire is all entailed into the kingdom, whatever we desire. So the Lord is making us desire these things, you know, where there's a suffering that we're gonna to have to go through before we get those desires, man. But it's he balancing it out, you know? Let's get that, um, let me finish the verse. Yeah, he finished that verse. But a just weight is his delight. A just weight, you know? So he's gonna make sure that we have enough desire, okay, for the things he's promised, so that we are able to deal with the suffering of the present, okay? To get to those things, man. Yeah, so. You wanna make it go to first Peter four? Uh, let's get let's get that Hebrews twelve and two, and then we'll jump back to First Peter four. This is Hebrews chapter twelve, verse two. Mm -hmm. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. Yeah, Yahweh Shai, the author, okay, which is the pioneer and finisher, okay, because when Yahweh Shai returns, there there'll be no need to have faith, because what we we'll went to yesterday, how well we'll be changed at the twinkling of an eye, okay, so we'll be what we desire. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. The joy, the desire that was set before him. Okay? He endured the cross. <laughs> you see, I want to get that word joy. See what it'll give us in the uh, that's in Hebrews 12 and 2, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm say to speak on Yeah. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and it sat down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Yep, yeah, and sat down at the right hand because he knew he would get that status back. You know, because he, he prayed, you know, Heavenly Father, you know, glorify me as at, as at the beginning. So he wanted to get back to the right hand. Going, back, going back to that proverb. Uh, that balance because yeah. not he had to, he said despising the shame so that that goes into the shame of dishonor that he had to go through on this side but now it's being balanced out for what's, what's to come for him you know the, the rulership over the whole universe over everything you know everybody bowing down to Yahweh Shah he's sitting on the right hand of the Most High going back to the, the just wait well, you go into the Greek word of, uh, of joy you know it says to rejoice Okay, 
It says to rejoice exceedingly. You know? So Yahweh Shah had an exceeding, you know, joy in his spirit to do what he had to do to go through that suffering. He so he can get his status back. Then also his his brethren under him, they can come into their status, man. They come into their rank. They come into their authority within the existence, man. You know, he had a desire that outweighed, you know, him being tortured, because he was tortured, man. So you know that the most high had to balance him out with that desire. And that's why he had the high he was able to deal with the highest you know, form of torture because he had the highest rank, okay? Which would give him what? The highest desire. Right. <laughs> you see? Like, we, no one has ever known the type of desire how I had within him, you know, when he had to suffer what he suffered because no one, you know, has that much to look forward to like how I shot. Right. He had, the, he had the most on his plate. Yeah. But at the same time, he had the big, he had the biggest responsibility. He had the biggest payoff. Right. You know? He had, the, he had the biggest, you know, payoff, man, you know? Now he, he's going to come back to give us our payoff, man. What they say is, you know, uh, uh, let's get to Isaiah 62 and, and 11. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 11 Behold the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh hath proclaimed unto the end of the world say ye to the daughter of Zion behold thy salvation cometh yep. behold his reward is with him behold thy salvation cometh his reward is with him and his work before him and his work before him so Yahweh is coming back with their reward where well, we're going to be immortal we're going to get okay their rank and authority in the earth those thrones Okay, and we're gonna have our heart's desire, man. You know, the type of women you like, like all this gonna be included, you know, <laughs> in, in the package, man. It's gonna be continued. You see, the, the, the enjoyment of family, you know, the, 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 the enjoyment that comes, you know, with being, you know, a, a, a king, husband, a father. We're gonna get to enjoy all those things, man, eternally, man, you know? And then the things that you that you're into, like you're into nature, you're into a stone, you know, earth, flowers, plants, you know, vegetation, all that you're gonna be able to enjoy in abundance, in its in its purest form. Mm -hmm. Stones, you know, smells. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, different types of grass give off a different type of smell. Different trees. Music, you know. Kind of music, huh? Um, now let's get that in on First Peter four. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as Yahweh shall have suffered for us in the flesh, mm -hmm. arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Arm yourselves <clears throat> likewise with the same mind. Remember, that's why he's the author and finisher of our faith. He showed us, okay, the extent that he would go through for what he desired. Because he understood the bigger picture. See, that's another thing. When you suffer, you understand the bigger picture. You know, when you're willing to suffer for something. Okay, like... When you first start working out, you know, you don't fall in love with working out. You fall in love with the results. And then after a while, the results outweigh the suffering. That's why you got gym, what they call gym rats and gym fanatics. That's someone who mind, all right, the desire, what they desire, they're seeing their desires come about. So now their desire outweighs suffering. You know, to you it's torture. <laughs> you know, but to them it's just another day. Because their desires have now outweighed the suffering that it takes to get to those desires. They've been motivated. Yep. You know, and that's how we are in, in, in the truth. Even with <laughs> Eve, okay, she go way down there get them BBLs. You know, cause she just <laughs> all right. She hit it. Is. She spent ninety eight percent of her net worth. Take that long ass trip, stay in a cheap ass hotel. Okay, go to that painful surgery. Yeah, all that shit you do, you know, you'll take them flip flops way down there to Peru and then get your head dropped back off in the projects just because they desire the attention that they could possibly get on the internet, man. You still gonna have the fun and on. Yeah, you know, but that shows you what they did. They, they, they go through all that because they desire that attention, so they'll put up with the suffering, man. <laughs> you see, 
but we're doing it for something that's eternal, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Mm -hmm. But he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. Have ceased from sin. He that suffered in the flesh, you know, have ceased from sin. Because pretty much this suffering is going to make us perfect. Immortal. Yep. This suffering is going to really put us in that mind, that perfect mindset that Yahweh Shah want us in before he returns. You know, we really gonna be locked in, man. And <laughs> you see through this suffering, this is refining us, man. You know, we gotta go through that furnace of affliction to be made like enough to him. Okay? That's why the Lord always say he gonna refine us as silver is refined and purge as gold is. Uh, you know, put it through the fire like gold is put through the fire. Yeah. Purging out all the impurities yeah. of our, you know, of this sinful flesh and of our minds that we, we don't, you know, picked up being in this captivity. You know, and then when the Lord, when we're thoroughly clean, wanted to be elect, when we're thoroughly clean, that's when He's gonna bring. That's when the salvation is gonna come. Mm -hmm. You want me to keep going? Oh you know, uh, no, you can uh, get your precept here. <clears throat> Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra, <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter seven. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse three. It says, "And I said, Speak on, my God." Then said he unto me, "The sea is set in a wide place, that it, that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance were narrow, like a river, which they can, the uh, the entrance is talking about the kingdom, is the you know the pathway to the kingdom." It says, "Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it?" If he went not through the narrow, and how could he come into the broad? There is another thing: a city is builded and set upon a broad field, and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Yes, and narrow means little, little chance of error. You know, there's a strictness, and that's another thing. When something is narrow, you know, there's a strictness that, it, that is required. Man. Okay, one thing about this faith, there's a particular, you know, level of, of, of strictness, you know, that we partake and we like going back to, you know, working out, you know, that they, you have to be strict on yourself to get those results, you see, through your diet, you know, and your exercise, like you have to be strict, you know, on yourself to really get those results that you want, you know, but that comes with that narrow man, you on the narrow path, but ain't a lot of things you can eat. It ain't you know a lot. Of, it ain't a lot of time. You don't have a lot of times to miss workouts. You know it's narrow. You know well, yeah. the interest thereof is narrow, and it's set in a dangerous place to fall. Mm -hmm. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, mm -hmm. and only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there there at once. Yeah, because everybody has their own walk of life, you know. <laughs> Me and this brother depart, you know, when we're not around each other, you know, I have to hold up on my end, he has to hold up on my end until we make it back to each other, you know. And that's everybody that's a part of this, man, even if you're by yourself, you know, when the cameras go off, okay, when you're not watching the live stream, man, okay, or doing the live stream, and then the cameras go off, well, there's things that we have to maintain in our situation so we can get back <laughs> to the camera, man. You know, as brothers have been saying. Because every every man, all right, within the within this ministry, okay, within the faith, okay, has different obstacles, man. You know? And there and there and it's gonna require a certain level of strictness within our situation, man. Discipline within our particular situation, man. You know? To get to where we gotta be. And see, it said fire on the left and water on the right. Those are two, okay, instruments of death. Okay? And you can be too lax and get snatched back in the world, man, on every side. Like, the world is always pulling you to try to come back in. You know, he, Satan tried to gradually pull you back into this shit, man. You know? So we have to be Govern. That's why the fear, see the fear, see faith inspires, but fear, okay, pretty much keeps everything in check. See, fear is the check and balance.
Because you can have faith in something, you know, but if there's no fear, <laughs> then there's no check and balance. Okay? Because faith by itself don't stop you from committing adultery. It's like a fear. And then that fear becomes a lifestyle as we start to understand these things, man. You know? Go ahead. Um, verse 9. If this city were now given into a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Mm -hmm. uh, right. So, like the brother was saying, Yahweh Shah went through his suffering. He had to go through his suffering, uh, uh, you know, everything he had to go through in order to receive the reward that he is sitting on the right hand of the Lord and patiently waiting to come back and save his brothers and sisters so he can put them, establish the kingdom of heaven on earth with him as the ruler, you know, chief of commander. You know, all things was given into his power, into his hand. That's a part of the rewards and the perks of going through what he had to go through. So it's the same, it's the, and we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So we're going to receive a portion of that too. But he is the first. He is the you know, firstborn among many brethren. He gets the largest portion. Mm -hmm. And your suffering pretty much in this ministry, your suffering is related to your reward. Like the things that you've been through, the things that we go through. You know, because the Lord has always been preparing us for the ministry, man, even before we knew who we were. Before, you know, we was awakened in the spirit, the Lord was always preparing us, you know, for this ministry, man. You know, and the greater suffering, you know, the greater the reward. You know, that's why Yahweh Shah had the greatest suffering. Apostle Paul had great suffering, man, to go through the, you know, the depths, you know, that the disciples had to take, hey, because those men going to be on those 12 thrones, right. <laughs> you see? And top thrones in, in, in the kingdom, you know? So the greater the reward, the greater the suffering, man, you know? And that's something we have to remember, you know, to keep us balanced, you know? Because the flesh wants to complain, and that ain't fair. Don't nobody go through what I go through, and I got this. But the Lord, you know, is conditioning, you know, us, all right, for that reward, man, you know? I got one more. Yeah, go. I'm going to jump down to verse 14. It says, if they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. He said you gotta labor. You know, it's like physical work, it's like actual work. It actually takes time and energy. <laughs> you know? Like you you know, you nodding off in this thing, like you know like, can't take no detours, yeah. you no know, can't uh can't take a time out, you know. The Lord he, you know he give you your set of hell, you know, he'll give you a break, but ain't no time out from the truth or nothing, you know. And, and no matter what you're going through, you still have to, you got to endure it to the end. You can't tell the Lord, Lord, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to be right back or nothing. You come back, you try to come back, the door closed. See how they were. And then, uh, this is Isaiah 53 and 10, we're going to end this. This is Isaiah 53, verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He have put him to grief. He said it pleased the Heavenly Father to bruise your Howard Shot. You know, we got to understand what that means. Because the Heavenly Father knew, all right, what the result was going to be. Like, he knew the product of their suffering. You know, he had a desire for his son. So he sent his he son, Yahweh Shot, through that so he can be his desire. So he can be the product that he desired, the, the eternal king that he desired. So he had to take him through that suffering, man. You know? Go ahead. He had put him to grief. <coughs> it's like, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seeds. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Yeah, go ahead. He shall see the travail of his soul. And shall, uh, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous, righteous servant justify many. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. You know? And ultimately, how shy seeing the seed, all right, that he planted through his suffering, okay, flourish into a nation of kings and priests. You know? Because he's Melchizedek. So after the war of Melchizedek, uh, the kinghood and the priesthood, okay, how shy planted the seed for the now you see a nation being developed, a nation of the Israelite men being developed into kings and priests. Okay? Through that seed. And he said through his suffering, 
he shall justify many. Going back, that was part of the Lord's desire. He knew through his suffering that his brethren would be justified, man. He would create a grace period where his brethren would be able to labor in his ministry and be justified, man. Okay, and be pardoned from their wrath. I'm going to read in the NLT. Yep, yep. Verse 11, it says, When he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he will be satisfied. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous. For many to be counted right. Read the first part again. When he, sees, over there. when he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he will be satisfied. So Yahweh Shai is going to be in the kingdom. He's going to look at all his brethren. Okay? That made it. He's going to look at all the rest of the one-third men, women, and children that made it of his nation, man. Okay? They, had the, they all have the glorified bodies ready to rule, okay, and be uh, 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 an extension of his empire, man, to constantly for his empire forever. He's going to be satisfied for what he's been through, man. He gonna, that, that little suffering he went through, okay, That's because the scriptures say that what, we, what we're going to get makes the suffering small, man. Because it was a great suffering he went through in the flesh. Okay, but c compared to what the reward, the turnaround gonna be, it's gonna be considered small, man. You know, you got it, bro. And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous, Woo. for he will bear all their sins. Go to uh, verse 12. Verse 12 in the KJV. Therefore will I div uh, divide him a portion with the great. Yes, you said earlier how Shai had the what? Biggest portion, right? God. I'm gonna divide him a portion with the great. He gonna be the greatest. He gonna have the greatest portion of power, you know, of everything. Right? Throw it. You go here. And he will. Div uh, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Yeah, he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he has poured out his soul unto death. And that strong is who the brethren. He gonna get a portion from the heavenly Father. And how is I gonna divide a portion amongst the brethren, man? And that's our desire. Uh, See, when I desire is dead, it outweighs the suffering, man. Okay? You know, you lost, you know, <laughs> you know, you lost the maximum. You know, the maximum got took back. You know, you don't have the apartment anymore, whatever. Like, this desire is going to outweigh that shit, man. Okay? Then, like we got yesterday, too, the Lord said, before you even make your prayers, it's already answered. So whatever you want, whatever you asking for, he going to give it to you. Instantly. Yeah. Yep. That's the real instant gratification. Yeah. Real instant gratification. <laughs> and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Yep, yeah, because he took on, okay, that, that, that wrath of the Heavenly Father. You know? He took it on for us. Okay? And this time he's going to come and deliver us from it. You know, he took it on because the most I had to get that anger off somewhere. All right. And he got off on Yahweh Shai. Okay? So now Yahweh Shai is going to transfer their wrath to the people of the earth. But the elect who have repented in his name, he's going to come deliver them from their wrath, man. You know, if that makes sense. You see? So you had anything else, bro? No. All right. Well, with that, we pray you, brothers, you free sisters, and edify till next time. Say Shalom. Y'all shall go far, far, DJ soon. Shall go. Shall go.